How many teams are, are there in Bristol? I think there's only one team in Bristol, and that's Bristol City, 100%. Favourite pre-game meal? Uh, my favourite pre-game meal is probably a little bit of porridge, um, some honey, some fruit, poached eggs, a slice of white toast, and keep it pretty simple to be honest. Um, it's nice and easy and that's my, my favourite meal. Favourite ever goal? Um, probably not scored enough as of yet, uh, but I think one of them that sticks out was 18, I think. I was on loan at Preston for Man United and I scored Again, it's Nottingham Forest, um, so hopefully I can get a couple more for Bristol City um, in my time here. Best ground ever played at? I think it's got to be Old Trafford. Um, I mean, coming come through at Man United and watching you know the games with you know fellow teammates and, and my family to then play there for for Leicester was a, a big thing and it was a full a full house. So that's definitely one that's that stuck out. This one's. From Kingy, does does he know everyone's first name in the squad yet? Um, I do now. Uh, I struggled with it at first. I think there was quite a lot of young lads in the in the squad um, at the start. A few of the uh, under 23 boys, and I was getting names mixed up, as was uh, Mr. King. Who of the squad is the changing room clown? Uh, I think at the minute I'd have to go with Joe Williams. Um, he gives a bit of a clown and he's 100 mile an hour, so energetic, um, but you know, I love him and he's a, he's a great lad. Favourite hobby outside of football? Um, probably wouldn't say I've got like a specific hobby, but um, I think for me it's just probably en enjoying time with my, my two kids and just letting them do whatever, do whatever they want to do, take them swimming and, and um, you know, football and things like that, so probably just being a uh, a dad really, that's probably one of my favourite things to do. What's your Nando's order? It's probably butterfly chicken, hot spicy rice and then with, uh, if I'm being healthy, a little bit of stem broccoli, maybe a, a hummus dip, if not then I'll go with the uh, peri peri chips uh, alongside and sometimes a little uh, gooey cheesecake to finish, nice bit of cream on top. Who's your football idol? Um, I'd probably say coming through at Man United again it would have been Paul Scholes. Um, playing centre midfield as well, I mean, the opportunity to be kind of so, so kind of um, close to him in the training facility and watching him and then obviously getting the opportunity to, to train with him, so I think that was, um, that was probably one of my biggest football idols really, I'd have to say. What makes Nigel Pearson a gaffer you want to play for? Uh, the gaffer is obviously brilliant at man management and keeping a squad together and creating an environment that people want to be in. Um, you know he's a great he's a great motivator in that sense, and he's able to get you up for a game, and he's not afraid to you know show his nasty side when he needs to, and I think that's a good trait to be able to have you know have both. He's you know he's a family man, and he understands that players are families, and um, you know sometimes you need time for that. But he's definitely a manager that you would 100% want to play for, and you know this is my second spell under him now, and you know, I'm really enjoying it. Do you have any pre, have any pre-match ritual superstitions? Uh, I used to be I used to be really really bad for these kind of things, and then I suffered a, a couple of injuries and I kind of put them to bed. But there's a um, way I tie my I tie my, tie my shoelaces, tie my left first, right. Um, I have personalised shin pads, which I put one on the right leg and one on the left leg. Um, but you know, other than that, there's not there's not too many too many others. Um, I like to speak to my family and face on my kids before a game. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I used to be really bad eat the same stuff, same thing, same meal the night before a game. You know, literally, if one thing was off, then you know, I, I kind of had to try and put it right. So yeah, not as many anymore. Thatcher's hairs or Thatcher's gold? I'd be Thatcher's gold. Got obviously, I've got a personal friend who actually works with Thatcher's, so. Um, he came to the, the first the first game against Blackpool, so uh, definitely Thatcher's gold, yeah, 100%. Who's your favourite band? I kind of like a, the music, kind of like, I like Ed Sheeran and, and, and people like that, so as a favourite band, I'm trying to think who would have gone for. Uh, I like Coldplay, that's probably one of my, my favourite bands, I don't think you can go wrong with a little bit of Coldplay, they've got many, many uh, classics in their, in their repertoire. How have you settled into life at Bristol City? I've settled in very well. Um, I love the city, love the people. Um, get on with all the players, all the staff. And I think you know the, having the fans back in the stadium has been 
immense and, and you know I've really enjoyed you know kind of playing in front of the, the home supporters and the away fans and so yeah I think I've settled in you know extremely well and you know hopefully that will continue. Fastest player at Bristol City in your opinion? Who's up there the fastest player? I think Thomas Callas is recorded one of the fastest uh, speeds at the minute. Uh, Naki Wells is obviously very, very quick. Um, Seiko Janna is extremely fast. Um, not me anyway, that's for sure. <laughs> Favourite cheese? I love cheese. Cheese is one of my, uh, you know, bad things to eat and uh, especially around Christmas time I think I've got quite a lot but probably one of my favourite ones is a red, red Leicester and I don't think you can go wrong with that, that's one of my favourite ones. Mm -hmm.